102.7. It's KISS FM. All right. Let me just get into Ryan's Roses right now. We've been talking about it all morning. Dear Ryan and Sisney, we own a property in Oceanside that we rent out as an Airbnb. Every weekend, it's not occupied. My husband goes down to check on it. She says, I think it seems excessive. But lately, he's been getting calls from a number I don't recognize. He claims it's spam, but I called it and a woman answered. So she's kind of putting one and one together. She's on to it. Gabriella, thank you for coming on. So you got this property. He goes down there. A woman's calling. You think he's going down to meet this woman, right? I do. Do you know the woman's name? I don't. I, have, I've, I've just hung Have up. you asked your husband about these calls? I did. Um, he says what? He, he just like rolls his eyes. He says it's spam and that if he answers, a computer voice tells him it's a warranty that's about to expire. That's pretty much the response I've got. Gabriel, let me ask you a question. Yeah. How long have you been married? 12 years. And has the relationship been strong throughout? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just been recently with this rental property and these phone calls that you've started being concerned about your husband's loyalty. Yeah, and the spending the night there and the not wanting me to go with him. And you know, What does he say the- he's doing at the yeah. house? Like, what could he be fixing or getting ready like what is he doing well that's what i don't understand like we we hired a property management company to look Uh, after it yeah he says you know at first i thought like i don't know maybe he needed some space and just didn't want to say it and i was kind of respecting that like that's that's cool you know i get it um but you know now he just says he's checking on it and that he sleeps on the couch and he doesn't want the whole place to get dirty where if we both go then it would get dirty and i don't know why he says you can't go like, all that's fine if he wants to check on the house, but why does he want to have you left out? Yeah. That's how I'm feeling. I, I don't know. Okay. Hold on one second, Gabriella. We're going to try and make the call to your husband. Let's get organized. So she's going to get ready. We'll call her husband on Kiss FM next. It's Ryan Seacrest here. Gabriella is concerned that her husband is cheating on her because he goes to their rental property and says, hey, let me go down and check on things. You stay home. And he stays overnight. So, uh, quite a few things going on there. Now, the phone is ringing. He's getting calls from a number that she doesn't recognize. So, Gabriella, what is the area code of that number you don't recognize? Do you recognize that? It's 858, which is San Diego. Okay, which is Oceanside. So, yeah. Um, all right. Here's what we're going to do. You've been married 12 years. Let's see if we can find out what's going on with your husband. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then his name, on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. And here we go. Good luck, all right? Thank you. Hello? Hi, is this Jason? Yes. Hi, my name is Carmen. I'm calling from CC's Blooms. We actually service and deliver in the La Mirada area. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing okay. Great. So, you know, Um, we're offering local residents a promotion today. It's free roses. You can actually pick from red, pink, or white. They are absolutely free. I'm just trying to promote my new business. And all I ask is that if you're pleased with our arrangements, you refer us to friends and family or maybe leave a nice Yelp review. I've got to say, you have an amazing voice. Thank you. <laughs> you work at a flower shop? I mean, is, is this like a career or is this just like a, a stepping stone for you? Honestly, it's been a dream of mine my entire life. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I would just like need... It or you... Yeah, just opened it up. It's called CeCe's Blooms. Uh-huh. And if you're interested, we can send an arrangement to anybody that you'd like today. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. Great. We can start with the name of the person. Uh, Gabby. And what would you like to put on the card? Uh, love you, babe. 
All right. Jason? Yeah? My name is Ryan. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. We've got your wife, Gabriella, on the line with us now. And the reason we're calling is she's concerned about you visiting your rental property and staying overnight and thinks you might be seeing someone else. Also, you're getting phone calls from an 858 number. Can you explain all of that? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I had a feeling this wasn't like a flower shop, but gee, the radio? Yes, Jason. I mean, look, first and foremost, this is like a little, I feel a little offended that we have to like open this up right on the air, but I'm, I'm a little bit more heartbroken that my wife couldn't come talk to me direct. Well, let, let, like, let, let's also address that you were, I don't know what you were trying to do with Sisney, but it sounded like you were hitting on her. No, I was What's going on? She does not sound like she works at a flower shop. How do you know how someone sounds if they work at a flower shop? Well, not like that. Not like a professional voice. <laughs> not a professional voice. Okay, so Jason, what gives? Why are you going to spend the night without your wife at this apartment? I'm not... I'm house-sitting the place that we have in Oceanside. Why can't she come along? Not, I told her that. Okay, Jason, don't yell at me i'm trying to help so oh let's goodness. just talk it out bro why are okay. you uninviting her to stay overnight because when we if we go together that we have done before we like to go have fun so we'll go out to a bar we might invite friends over it happens every time I've been in this business for a good while. You have to look at this professionally. I'm not going in there hanging out. I'm not even inviting my own friends over. I'm going in there cleaning up my stuff, making sure everything is set, making sure that people in the area know that people are checking in on this area because you don't want break-ins or anything. And if I brought my wife, it would become more of a vacation thing. And then that's not what it's not. You have to separate business and pleasure, and that's what I'm doing right here. And that's something that I've described and explained to her countless times. Gabriella, is he speaking truth? Oh, my God. He's a little angry about it. I know it, that's but... what you're saying, but I feel I feel like you're avoiding me or our, our time together is lessening because you're in Oceanside by yourself. That seems really strange, doesn't it? If I'm going for work, though, this isn't like I'm going to like go hang out. I'm not even going going anywhere. Why are you I'm yelling at me? Yeah. Jason, I mean, at, what most, a, at most, I'll go get my... What about the phone number, That's okay? A, what about the phone number? The 858 phone number that keeps calling your phone. Who's that? Are you talking about spam again? You you don't you don't get spam calls. All the time. It calls so, all the time. Jason, That's what spams do? They either want my warranty, they want something. All right, so Gabriella, Jason, I'm I'm not quite sure where to go with this. It sounds like Jason's defensive. Gabriella, it sounds like you don't trust him to be alone overnight. So I suggest that if you guys need to go down there on business, make it business, go with him, and see what plays out. Good luck. That was awkward. It really was. So he has a point. If he can't bring her along and they can't do what they need to do, then all right, fine. But it doesn't make sense that she wouldn't be able to go down there and be professional. No, he's hiding something. All right, so let's go back to Ryan's Roses for a second. Net, net, what was going on there? Couple married 12 years. They got this rental apartment. He, the husband, goes down. He stays overnight. He says she shouldn't go because they end up having too much fun. He needs to go down on business and take care of the apartment. Sisney says doesn't make any sense. I don't think he's telling the truth. I think he is going down there and hooking up just like Abby is. It's her intuition, and she's probably right. And then there's that phone call. Well, and then he keeps getting an 858, same location, Oceanside, San Diego. Right. Area code phone number coming into his phone. So then his wife, Gabriella, is like, okay, you don't want me to be around. And then a woman keeps calling this number. Mm -hmm. What is that about? Something seems off, certainly in that marriage. Yeah. And he was so angry and rude. Well, that's always the thing, Sisney, for me. It's like the more the the tone ramps into yelling and defensiveness, mm -hmm. the more I think there's coverage going on there. 100%.
And he's yelling at me like, bro, I, I mean, literally, you think I got up today want to have a conversation with you about this? No, I got up today want to not do that. I think he knew it was us, which is why he sent the flowers to his wife. Well, also, he's like, oh, your voice. That was weird. Hi, your was voice. So you got such a nice voice. You work at a flower shop with that voice? I was like, no. Laura, thank you for calling in uh, about Ryan's Roses. You had a chance to hear it. What do you think is going on? Is it just a marriage that's sort of run dry, or do you think he's covering something up? Um, I think he's covering something up. I actually used to run an Airbnb, and like we could have like a property manager. When we have a property manager, you don't have to deal with the guests at all. You know, like they do it all for you. So, like, I don't know. It seems a little sketchy to me. I think he's definitely. So because they said they have a management company that looks after the apartment, he really has no business doing anything unless he just wants to add on. Right, exactly. Like, we hardly talk to our guests. Yeah, look, again, when someone starts yelling and being defensive, I think, okay, there's a cover. There's something, I don't know to what extent, but something is going on there, right? I don't like him. Yeah, definitely getting a little too defensive. All right, Laura, thanks for calling. Thank you. I just wonder, the reason I asked her, if you remember early on in that conversation, hey, was it just this incident or 12 years in, are you fatigued in the marriage? Like, have there been other situations where you just feel burnt out in the marriage? She said no, but I thought maybe she's going to say yes. Well, she did say that she thought at first he was going down there to get some space, which she was like, okay, fine. And he kept going for that space. Right. 